I told myself that I was never going to do this challenge. A year ago when all these crocheters were doing a how much I crochet in a day or how much I crochet in 24 hours or crochet for 24 hours straight, I was like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> because as questionable as my self-care habits are sometimes, I still believe in some semblance of it. But last month, I got this huge flood of orders that I am so grateful for and it was so amazing. But it was getting to a point where I was getting more orders in a day than I can make in a day. And even on Tuesday, I think I stayed up for more than 24 hours. And since I have to do that again today, I figured might as well film it for you all for your entertainment and also just make it a little bit more fun for myself currently it is 1 51 a.m and we're going to be crocheting until 1 51 a.m of tomorrow the first punch that we're making is a purple axolotl this is a custom order so obviously i'm not going to keep recording all 24 hours because you don't want to watch that i don't even have the camera space to record all that so we're just going to do some check-ins and let's jump forward a little bit so it is currently 3 14 a.m and i'm going to be completely honest i did not get that much done within this hour because i was too busy checking out the videos that I recorded earlier and just making sure that the quality was okay and everything was fine and I just kind of lost track of the time but hopefully this next hour I'll get a lot more done. <laughs> My cat just walked in with a ball in his mouth and I don't know if you could hear him but he was like whining because he wants me to throw the ball for him but I can't do it right now busy working and now he's rolling on his back trying to get my attention. So it's currently 3.55 and I got a little bit more done this hour so we have our head and we started on the body. If you ever wanted to know what an axolotl looks like before I attach all the different gills and the legs and all the different stuff to it, here it is. <laughs> it literally looks like a lopsided peanut. So it's 4.53 right now and I finished the body of the axolotl and attached the arms and the legs, added a white blush, and also started on the white tail fins that they requested. Starting to get really tired right now, but this is pretty normal. I usually get sleepy around 4 to 6. Currently really regretting taking on this challenge. I honestly do want to go to sleep. <laughs> it's 5.51. This is what we got done within the last hour. I attached the tail fins and it started on the gills and currently we have three of them attached. Here's the axolotl all finished and next we're going to make three rainbow baby bees. You can see the faintest bit of light pouring through the drapes. Good morning. The birds are now awake and I can also hear my partner awake right now too getting ready for work. partner just left for work so now I can talk as loud as I want. <laughs> so another hour has passed and it's now 6 52 and I finished almost the whole body of one bee and started on the two other ones. Oh my god y'all my lashes are literally falling off in this clip and I didn't even realize that. I think it's from all the yawning and the tearing up from the yawns but like just please ignore that it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Alright 7 51 and there's like this nice ray of sunlight coming into the room. Yeah, I feel like I was kind of slow this hour, but I finished stuffing and adding the eyes and the blush for my three rainbow bees and I just need to make the wings and attach them and then we'll be done with these. Literally how sad. The sunlight lasted for maybe about like 15 minutes. So once again, we've reached another hour. So now it's been seven hours and I finished the rainbow bees and I had started on this gay Vincian pride bee. I'm gonna make two of these and also two baby ghosts of these as well. It's been another hour, it's now 9.51 and I finished the body of that last bee and I'm working on a second bee at the moment. I am fighting the urge to go and take a nap so hard right now. Oh, <laughs> I just had a tired tear come out. I feel like I yawned like 20 times within the last 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> trying to get a hang of it. I'm currently starting on the ghosts. I finished the bees. I really need to wake myself up. I keep making the wrong number of stitches in each round. It's now 10.51 and we've been doing this for 9 hours. And honestly, I am trying really, really hard not to fall asleep um right now <laughs> I, i'm doing my best we'll see we'll see if i can make it but at the moment like this past hour was rough a lot of yawns and making a lot of mistakes with my crochet but we are almost done with our little baby ghost i think this whole week of being sleep deprived is 
finally really catching up to me. I am never ever planning on repeating this week ever again. I will make sure of it. I will make sure that I am never I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. So it's currently 11.33 and I'm so sorry y'all, but I need to take a break. Hello, I'm back and it's currently 2.58. I am so sorry about taking that break. I honestly just really needed it super badly and I was working really, really slow. So it was really not productive for me to continue to keep working during that time frame. But now I feel a lot better after that nap. So we'll add three hours and 27 minutes to our original time. So that would be, um, I'm not really sure what that would be. It's currently four o'clock and I finished both of our little ghosts and also am starting on a frog. I gotta say that nap was definitely such a good decision. I feel so good right now, so y'all will have to forgive me for not doing this for 24 hours straight. I am kind of sad I wasn't able to do it, but you know, it was honestly the right choice. So it's now 6.02 and the sun has gone down and we have officially completed more than 12 hours, so more than halfway done. I added a little mouth onto the frog and finished the bisexual frog and also made a little ghost. By the way, I have free tutorials on almost all of the plushies that I'm making in this video. Like you can find on my channel a tutorial for this frog and also for this ghost and also for this turtle that I'm making right now. It's going to look like this. And I do have a bee tutorial on my channel as well, but it's not the exact same type of bee I'm making in this video just because these bees are a little bit smaller than the one in my tutorial. And I know a lot of you have been requesting an axolotl tutorial. I do currently have the axolotl pattern available as a PDF that you can purchase in my shop that I'll link in the description below. I am not 100% sure when I would do an axolotl tutorial just because it does take a lot longer to make an axolotl and a tutorial is definitely going to take like three to four times longer than all the other tutorials that I make. And if you do want to make it more possible for me to be able to spend the time, please continue to like and watch my videos and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot and it makes it more possible for me to continue to make content and spend that time to make content for you all. We reached seven o'clock and I didn't get that much done within this hour. I just finished a shell of a bisexual pride turtle. Right now, this is how much stuffing I have left. So I kind of feel like I may have to run out and do a craft supply run. 8.31 right now. Hands starting to cramp. I'm trying to crochet slower so I don't overwork my wrist even more. It's currently 9.05 p.m. and I'm going to go and run to the store to pick up some stuffing before it closes. I'm just about out of it and also just to give my wrist a break. So here I am in Walmart. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one and hustle back. So it's 9.50 and I decided that I had enough of my lashes melting off of my face in every single clip. So I took them off and so we're doing voiceover content for these last few hours. I got back just in time to finish working on the frogs and finished them at 10.24pm just a little bit past the 17th hour or whatever hour we're on now. I kind of lost track and this is when everything started going downhill. I could tell I was getting tired again because I was getting really cranky but no more breaks so I still finished out Dinner Boy Baby B by 11.08. At this point my back also started hurting and it was around 11.17pm when the headache started coming in but hey i kept going and finished this demi girl pride bee and this gender fluid pride bee by 12 30. was it my finest self-care moment absolutely not but hey no one said a 24-hour challenge on top of an already sleepless week was supposed to be easy what's that thing they say i didn't want to work a nine to five so i started my own business and now i work 24 7 like actually literally so at this point my other wrist is starting to hurt too and honestly the only thing that's still keeping me going is just this drive to finish these orders because just because I don't do them now doesn't mean they're going to go away. They can't make themselves right so might as well keep grinding so there's less work tomorrow. At 2.20am I finished a lesbian pride medium bee and a lesbian pride baby ghost and at 3.08am I finished this baby transgender pride frog and baby bee. So for the last two hours I wanted to get as much done as possible and I was going way too fast on this turtle shell and totally missed a row and now I have to undo almost the whole thing which uh, is honestly not great. <laughs> and here I am back to the very beginning. At 4.15am I finished this turtle and for the last hour i was determined to get this last turtle finished and i did it after working super fast i finished this turtle at 5 13 a.m and for the last few minutes i decided to start on a yellow axolotl and here's how much i got done by 5 18 a.m finally we are done and here are all the plushies i made didn't quite hit the goal but still made 23 plushies and how was this experience uh zero out of five stars what 
I do this again? Absolutely not. It wasn't even that productive. I think I definitely could have made more plushies if I wasn't falling asleep like half the time. So I definitely do not recommend, do not try this at home, but hey, at least I got a pile of plushies.